day, people! This is Japino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 27 of the Pokemon Storm Silver Egglog. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you look button down below for us because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did make our way back from the Dragon's Den. We defeated the trial, which earned us the final badge, when that bitch finally coughed it up. And we took on not five, but seven kimono girls. They actually had more kimono girls. I mean, guys gotta eat, you know. Uh, but this episode, we got ourselves a challenge today. Today is the day that we get Lugia. Lugia, you know, the big flappy bird? The legendary bird of Johto? Or one half of it? So, let's go ahead and look at the team that we're working out with today for you people. We got Aphrodite the Nine Tails that was added in the last episode. Terraria the Torterra, S. Crooks the Melodic, Vega the Weavile, Fangs the Salamence, and Yugi the Galade. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this episode on the road. The road to Lugia. Now, I will say this I will say, I will say that everyone's a little bit with it because of the battle that happened in the last episode. It was a big battle. Don't get me wrong, taking on seven Kimono Girls with seven Pokemon. It was a little tough considering that you really couldn't swap your starter Pokemon, but Aphrodite, the newest addition to the team, she stuck it out and she helped us pull through. So you know what, Aphrodite, you took care of those new additions of Glaceon and Leafeon like they were nothing. Like they were pudding. You just cut through them like pudding. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and fly all the way down to Sionwood. Fly baby, fly! Flappy flap. Now, we have to go ahead and whack on our repel. Actually, speaking of, no, we're going to buy some repels. I think that definitely would be a good start. But I remember this place doesn't have uh, repels, so. Whoopsie! Whoopsie! Now, I don't want to check out Salamence. I want to fly to Olivine City. Because that is the closest place that does have a shop. We're doing express shopping here. Max repels. Hey, that's the stuff we need. Forty would do. Forty would do. Okay, let's jump into the water. Get into our bag. Activate the super max repels. Now, we'll go ahead and put uh, Yugi out front because we do get two encounters inside the Whirl Island. Actually, you know what? We do get. Three encounters actually. So Rough 41. So now we can go into this whirlpool island over here. Alright, so we can go inside the cave here. So we do actually get an encounter inside the wall islands. That is one thing. And we need a Pokemon with Flash. Are you serious, dude? Please tell me I'm... Oh my god, we do need a Pokemon with Flash. <sighs> okay. Hold the phone while I figure out who can learn Flash. And if I teach Flash, can I get rid of the move? Okay. So, Yugi can learn Flash. We do have a TM for Will-O-Wisp, so just in case we want to just take it back off, we can just go ahead and do that. So you know what? For the sake of getting inside this stupid freaking place, we're going to teach this thing Flash, so we can get through this cave. That's better. Okay. So now that we can see exactly where we're going, it would definitely make things a whole lot easier. So question for today, I'll ask you guys today is, 
Which HM, and I'm guessing you already know what my answer is going to be, which HM do you think is the absolute worst of all the HMs? And I'm going to throw this out there. I mean, I'm glad they finally turned into a TM because having that has a HM just sucked. Flash has to be the most pointless fucking thing they could have made into a TM. Like, I don't understand. Why of all things would you make this thing that you had to teach to Pokemon and they couldn't get rid of it. It was like freaking once you got it, it's like getting aid. It's like once you get that, that's it. You got it for life. And they didn't even introduce the move deleter until like Gen 2. So I was just like, dude, what the hell? Alright, so... We're gonna go around here. Excuse me. Okay, so we found ourselves a nugget. Okay, so... So that seems like that's the bottom. Okay, so... Back to the repels. And I'm now a shadow of myself. I'm a shadow clone. <laughs> I'm Shadow Jutsu. Let's just restart that, because apparently I found it. you can just restart the game and the game will reset. Okay, so we're back. Alright, so... I was going to say, this rock just looks very isolated, so... Alright, so let's go up the ladder. Item. And this leads back to somewhere, so you know what? I'm not going to go there. But apparently we have no other way. Alright, we have strength over here. Oh no. Okay, so we can't go through there. Cool. We have a surf spot over here. Ultra ball. Okay, so at least we're trying to make our way slowly but surely we're making our way through and here's the place where we use strength. So let's go ahead and to area just push the strength. There we go. Okay, back to the bag for some more repels. Max repels. There we go. That's what we need. Alright. At least this is making things a whole lot quicker. Seriously, just, I remember how tedious it was trying to figure out how to get to places. It was fucking annoying to all hell. And this leads back outside. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Uh, okay. So you have to go up this way, but that leads back to where I was before. So, where do I need to go? I need to get to this spot over here, where that ladder is there. Um, no, not... Max Repel, there we go. So I need to get to this mill spot over here, but the question is how do I get there? It's blocked off. And there's no way around here that I can get up there. So I might have to go up the ladder and up and out and use a different entrance. Just have to remember which entrance I'm coming in through. That's the main thing. So we got this entrance over here. Cross over a whirlpool here. We have to take on some trainers now. If you need a rest, just tread water. You'll get your breath back so you can keep on going strong. Ah, uh, that's not how it works. Gold duck. Level 33. Boy, you're about to get fisted. Or in this case, cut it up. You get cut up. Alright, so let's go back over here, Max Repel. Alright, let's go ahead and swap the teams around a bit. Let's go ahead and put uh, Fangs out front. How do I know this guy wanted to battle me? I just knew 
it was just like, yeah, dude, we're gonna throw down here. And I'm like, nah. I'm gonna fly up because I'm not dealing with this seeking. Nope. I've seen so many times where seeking has just been a total bitch in Nuzlocks. Whirlpool. Ah, oh, crap. Do I want to take on this trainer? No. Apparently, Whirlpool only lets you tread in the direction that you're facing. Oh my god, my damn nose. Last episode it was itching, and this episode it's no different. Alright, so we go up and over. I think this was the way I originally came in the first place, I'm pretty sure. Uh, excuse me, uh, Yugi, use your Millennium Puzzle and flash this darkness. Okay, so we might have gone the right way. Okay, so... Oh, I think I know where this is. Okay. We were here before. Okay. Alright, well I think we just screwed up because we went the wrong way. Because we've been here before. Yep, we can't go that way, so we have to go up. Oh boy. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. And we got down here. Oh my gosh. I'll eventually get there, people. Just gotta give me time. I know I've been pretty quiet, but that's because I've just been trying to figure out how the bloody hell to do this. You know what? We might as well get ourselves an encounter here. Seal! It's a seal. Five Fang should not be super effective. There we go. Look at that. We'll go for another Five Fang. Don't crit. There we go. Alright, so you know what? I think that is a good time as any to go ahead and catch the seal. There we go, we got ourselves a seal. We got the seal of approval. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and call it egg. Alright, so that's an egg that we can replace right there. Now, we have to go back out here. Now, like, thankfully we know how to go now. So we know how to get out of here now. So, we go up and over. But the thing we've got to remember is we've got to use the max repels because that's what we bought them for. The max repels will help us guide the way. So, we go through here. We take on... We took on this chick. Dodged him. Took on this dude. And we're pretty much back to where we were last time. And we're just trying to slowly... Decipher this BS. Like, it's just... It's not, like, it's not like I don't find this enjoyable, but when you have such a tedious maze, I mean look, put it this way, Mewtwo was easy to find, at least it was easy, but like, you compare that to say finding Lugia in this game, like, you had to go back and forth and back and forth. Okay, so now we go up the top here. Now, this I think is the way to go. Because remember, this is the one spot you can't reach anywhere else but here. And there's an item over here. Hello. It's a max revive. Okay. Repels effect will off. Not a problem. We'll just go ahead and reapply another one. Because that's why we bought them. So we have a ladder. Hang on, we have a ladder over here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But we can't reach. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we have a dude over here. That thing you have. The silver wing. You have found it. Please go ahead. So he recognized. He knows that we got what it takes. And there's the great waterfall. So at least now we've found it. It didn't take us too long, which is good. I didn't want it to be like a whole episode ordeal. 
that would just be freaking frustrating. I didn't want to get like that. Be like, sorry guys, I can't find it. <laughs> Oops. Oops. And there's only five girls here. Hey! Where's the other two? You can't just cheat me on a challenge and then just only bring five. I asked for seven. I saw seven. Demand seven. Unless they really couldn't reprogram the code to include seven girls. But whatever. That's right. This is where we welcome Lunia. When the dance we practice many days becomes one with the sound of the title bell we've entrusted with you, then Lugia shall come out from deep within the waterfall basin once again. Hi, Lugia. P.S. You're my favorite of the two birds. And your shiny is glorious. That is indeed Lugia, the guardian of these islands from ancient times. So many have tried again and again, only to fail. Sharpino, your heart in complete harmony with the title bell has finally allowed it to appear. Sharpino, don't you see? Lugia, it must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? Well, the only thing I can do is say, Hello, Lugia. Will you come with me? I have to surf to it? Oh, come on, dude. Hello, Lugia. I wish to challenge you. Do you accept? Yes! Hey, well, it says yes. For a difficult encounter, I am not going to risk it just for the sake of clout, okay? I just want to catch the Lugia, I'm not going to use it, I'm going to replace it for an egg, but either way, I just want to make sure that we can get the encounter and have no losses. I apologize if you're expecting an epic battle with it, but if I kill it, that's it, that's my one chance of Lugia. And I ain't fucking that up, just to prove a point, okay? That's an encounter for us. So let's go ahead and call Lugia Egg. Because we're going to be replacing it with an egg sent in by you guys. Because that's the whole point of an egg lock. Is to get the egg sent by you peoples. You have not only made Lugia appear, but you also have caught it. You are so wonderful. There is nothing more for us to say. Take good care of yourself in your journey. Okay, I think I have an item that actually might help me out in this situation. Where is it? Escape rope. Activate! That, if that is not the most useful item in this game, I don't know what is. Now, thanks, my boy. I need you to fly me over to Cherry Grove because apparently our next stop is over to 
the Indigo Plateau. So, before we go any further, before we go any further, before we go any further, we got to do some egg hatching for y'all because we got some. Actually, hold on. Actually, we already got an encounter for you. So you know what? Forget that. Forget that. Forget that. We already got the encounter for you. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs and Pokemon fans everywhere. We have two Pokemon to replace for eggs of group three of these eggs that are all here. Okay, so we have a number between one and 12. So let's get the random number generator going over here. Let us see here. Number between one and 12. Number generator is Number one! Wow, okay, number one. Right off the bat, the first egg in here, and it is S. Scray. It's just Scray. Okay, so it's just called Scray with capitals and wit. Okay. And it has a Drain Punch. Okay, so it's a fighting type. Whatever this Pokemon is, it is meant to be a fighting type, and it has the name Scray. Now, I'm going to tell you guys in a little something. Now, the first three eggs of this box were actually entries from actual co-workers. Now, I'll tell you guys a little something. Now, my co-workers do not like Pokemon, but they do know that I like playing Pokemon. And this S. Gray is actually a reference to my team leader that I work with. So, Brad, shoutouts to you. This one is for you. So... He wanted to call it SC Ray um, because it's an in its name is a play on his name and a nickname that gets thrown around. I'm not going to say the name because some people I know I swear and say all this shit, but I mean then it gets a bit too out there if I tell everyone what the joke is. But we have SC Ray. That's what he was meant to say. So it's a actually SC Ray. So waiting for this egg to hatch over here. So, let's see what my team leader decided to give me as a Pokemon. It is a... It's a Poliwag. So, with the Drain Punch, I'm assuming he wanted me to make it into a Poliwrath. So I'm going to go ahead and call it SC... And then put a space in the SC Ray. Because that's how he wanted to pretty much present it as. So, SC Ray. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out SC Ray. It has an adamant nature, and it has Bubble Beam, Mud Bomb, Belly Drum, and Ice Ball. Excuse me. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out Poliwag, and just double check that these eggs are in fact... You know, Poliwag is in fact, those are legit moves. Okay. So, Bubble Beam is a level up move. Belly Jump is a level up move. Mud Bomb is a level up move. And Ice Ball is a egg move. So, SC Ray, SC Ray is in fact a legal encounter. So, kudos to you, Brad. Thank you very much for sending the egg. Uh, greatly appreciate it. It's actually surprising how uh, supportive my work colleagues are of this because, like, not that I have, I don't expect them to support me, but like, it's just cool to see like people supporting you, even though you've got, I would say, a different interest than what they do. They still show an interest to say that they support you. So that, that's cool of them to be like, you know, uh, Sharpie, because my last name is Sharp, you know, Sharpie. Um, you know, we, we don't really understand it, but we would like to be a part of it, and we're going to have some eggs made for you. And I was like, you know, cool, all right, great. Okay. So let's go back to the number generator, number between 1 and 12, and it is going to be number 8. Number 8 here, so we have 6 and then 7, 8. And we have a Pokemon called Ponchito. So let's go ahead and take the item of Ponchito. Ponchito, okay. Um, interesting name with leftovers, so... The only thing I could think of with that is like a Mexican reference. Like the only thing I think of Ponchito, I think of those Pokemon from Pokemon Clover. You know, like the the, the racist like 
Mexican Pokemon. Like, you got the... Uh, it's like a potato, it's like a giant potato spud, and apparently that's like a pseudo-legendary in the game. And he absolutely destroyed my team, like, oh my god, he destroyed the fuck out of my team. Okay, little spud man, okay. So, Ponchito is going to be a... Oh! I love it, I love it, Ponchito. Alright, so Lotad is actually going to become a Ponchito. Ponchito the Lotad. Lotad. Alright, let's go ahead and check out Ponchito's moveset. It is a timid nature and it has Rain Dance, Leak Seed and Energy Ball. I am pretty sure that is all legit. But, we'll let the webs decide what's legit and what's not. Okie dokie, alright. So Leak Seed is an egg move. Um, energy Ball is a level up move. And Rain Dance is a level up move. So your boy Ponchito is a legal encounter. So we'll go ahead and put that in the PC with the rest of our parties, all of our party friends. All the party boys have all the party boys over there. So let's go ahead and put uh, Ponchito in here. And we'll go ahead and pick up our beloved Petroven, our Aphrodite, add it back to the, to the party. As for Lugia, we're going to put you back over here with the, all the spares and all that. So, um, that will be us for today's episode, you guys. It was just all about Lugia. That's all it really was. It was about finding Lugia. And since we had such a, bit, a longer episode last episode, I figured we'd just cut a bit off this episode to kind of even it out. So, next episode, we start making our way over to the Pokemon League. Very excited, very hyped. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, hit the like button down below because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. And in the next episode, like I said, it is time to head to the Pokemon League and get ready for Elite Four because that is where things get tough. So until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp. And I will catch you guys all next time. Later.